Hello class, this is Ann Vitasic, and I have chosen a Knott's Landing television series for my slideshow. From left to right, this is Valine Ewing, Karen McKenzie, and Paige Matheson. They were the leading ladies of this TV show. Uh, that without them, this show would have not lasted as long as it did. They were really awesome actresses. Knott's Landing ran on the television from December the 27th of 1979 to May the 13th of 1993. I hate it when it ended because it really was truly my favorite television show. It was actually a spinoff from the uh, show Dallas with J.R. Ewing, etc. There was a lot of on-the-job drama in this TV series, Knott's Landing, so that's why I decided to use this one for the presentation because of all the um, corporate drama. It had a lot of corporate intrigue. It had murder. It had sex discrimination. It had a little bit of everything on this show. At the conclusion of Knott's Landing, it had become the third longest running primetime drama on television. It was the last fictional primetime show that debuted in the 1970s to leave the airways. Greg Sumner owned a large corporation that he inherited from his biological father when his biological father deceased. He hired Paige Matheson, who was his best friend, Mac McKenzie's daughter. She was very young, a lot younger than, than Greg was. He became involved with her. He fell in love with her. But when he decided to get into politics again, he realized that she was way too young and he could not marry her and be in politics. So at the flip of a hat, he decided to marry an old girlfriend of his Abby Cunningham, who was a pretty devious woman throughout the whole show. It was pretty heartbreaking for Paige, um, but Greg did let her keep her job with the corporation, though. Prior to marrying Abby Cunningham, Greg was actually married to one of her friends, Laura Avery. He had a child during that marriage with Laura, and that child's name was Meg. Laura got cancer and she passed away. It was really, really devastating for Greg. He decided after her death that he could not care for Meg like she needed it. So he gave her up for adoption to his best friend, Mac McKenzie, and Mac's wife, Karen. They took over custody of the child and they raised Meg like she was their own child. During the time that he was trying to run for mayor and he was married to Abby Cunningham he, she talked him into trying to get custody back of Meg and it caused a huge blow up fight between him and his best friend Mac well he didn't make mayor and he stopped a political process and he went back to running his corporation again When Abby and Greg got divorced, Abby moved to Japan because she got a really good job there. Well, on the last episode of Knott's Landing, she shows back up out of nowhere from Japan and buys a house next door to Mac and Karen. And the very end of the, sh the episode, she looks over at them with a kind of an evil kind of smile. And she just says, just like old times, isn't it? And that's how this whole show ended. It was a very interesting last episode. Thank you for viewing my slideshow about Knott's Landing, and I hope you enjoyed it, and you have a wonderful evening. Bye.